get to the hot read. So in the segment, folks, if you're new, it's not really talking matchup for a team, but more so we're looking at the line because the lines come out for the following week tonight, early morning, and we're going to try and get a line we like now before there's a shift later in the week before the action comes in and get the best number. Brandon, what's a spot that you like in week 14? I'm going to Sunday night next week. We flex the Dolphins Chargers into the Sunday night game. I want the Dolphins. Miami is favored right now, but it's below the key number. Depending on where you look, it's bouncing around. But give me a minus one, minus one and a half. You're going to find it still anything below three because at the Chargers, that's essentially a neutral site game. If anything, it's probably a Miami home game. Dolphins fans travel. Chargers fans don't exist. So we're going to get some Miami home advantage there. So that basically means that we're just looking at a neutral line here, at least in Miami is just a much better team than the Chargers. We know that already the Chargers are now 0-4 against playoff teams, which Miami still clearly is. And I don't want to make too much of Miami getting destroyed by San Francisco's defense, because guess who's not San Francisco's defense? The Chargers. The Chargers have all their injuries up and down the roster, both sides of the ball. Chargers, Brendan, you mentioned earlier that they get pressure on Tua. The numbers say otherwise. The Chargers are 29th in pressure rate on the season. So if you don't get the pressure on, now what about the explosive pass plays? That's how Miami beats you. Chargers are 28th in most uh, explosive pass plays allowed. So if you don't get pressure on and you give them time to hit Tua, or sorry, for Tua to hit Tyreek and Waddle and all the weapons, I think we're just kind of back to what we've seen with Miami. Don't forget, before today, Miami with Tua in the lineup for half the snaps, 8-0, and and they had scored 31 or more four t- games in a row before today. So I think it's a good spot to get back at it. Chargers, I'm just happy to keep betting against this team right now because they don't really give me any reason to do so otherwise. Bottom five in the league on first down on both sides of the ball. Just a team I'm happy to fade and happy to take a Dolphins quote-unquote home game in Los Angeles. So give me it anywhere below the key number of three, and I'll be glad. Okay. Tua, by the way, left the game. He could have returned. They clarified that after. I'm not sure if Waddle's injury was all that serious. He had a leg injury in the game against San Francisco. So those are some things to monitor as well. Yeah, I did I did uh, hesitate a little bit with the injuries. Teron Armstead, the left tackle, missed today, was doubtful. I have to believe probably we're going to get, I would think, honestly, all three of those guys back next week. It is a risk. You're always risking a little bit when you play earlier in the week. The thing that offsets a little bit here is the Chargers injury report is like half of their roster. You know, like the the Chargers are going to be missing Mike Williams and like four of their guys that fall down an escalator this week. And like like, the Chargers are missing half their team anyway. So I think there's as much injury risk that can harm the Chargers as can harm the Dolphins. So that's why I didn't mind grabbing that now. 